Yeah, some more of it. Peace, love, blessings, prosperity to all y'all, man. Um, 365 days a game. We back at it once again, man. Um, man, um, when dealing with individuals, man, dealing with certain individuals, it may be an individual close to you. It may be an individual... Uh, not close to you, but in your circumference. It may be individuals uh, you work with. It may be individuals, um, hey, you know, it is what it is. Mm, hold on. It may be individuals close to you, like I say. It may be individuals far away from you. Like I say, it may be individuals in your circumference. Uh, it may be friends of friends, you know what I'm saying? It may be an old lady. It may be an old man. Uh, it may be your wife. It may be, uh, your husband. But I'm gonna give it to you straight simple like this, man. 365 days a game. Um, uh, disagreements, you know, disagreements are common. It may be, your, it may be family. It may be your mom. It may be your brother. It may be your sister. It may be your daddy. You know what I'm talking about? But, um, no one understand this, man. No one overstand this. You know what I'm talking about? Disagreements, disagreements are natural in conversation. Everybody has disagreements. You disagree with your mama. You disagree with your daddy. You disagree with your brother. You disagree with your sister. You disagree with your wife. You disagree with your husband. You disagree with, with uh, your girlfriend. You disagree with your boyfriend. Disagreements in conversation, you know, they happen. But what I need you to know and understand is what's the difference of what I need you to know and understand is the fine line that separates a disagreement from disrespect. You know what I'm talking about? Because, see, disagreements are normal. Everybody has disagreements, you know. But when a disagreement turns into disrespect, that's where it gets greasy. That's where you're going to have to stand on your shit as a man, as a woman, as a boy, as a girl. And that's where you also have to recognize character because if something is minute as a disagreement can turn into disrespect, that person ain't for you. That person ain't somebody you need to be around. That person may be somebody you need to check right then and there, however way you see fit to check them. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't saying go to jail. I ain't saying run in their mouth. I'm just saying no one understand the difference between a slight disagreement and disrespect and when a disagreement turns into disrespect for instance man you know uh it it's been times i've been in prison right one thing in prison that's going to pop off a fight is a basketball game if you know you know you know so um it's been times i've seen guys arguing over a call Oh man, you found me. Oh no, I ain't found you. Oh man, you found me. Woo, 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 you found me. You a bitch ass motherfucker. Woo, woo, woo. Next thing you know, they fighting. They scrapping like a motherfucker out there on the basketball. They taking in the door. Let's go in the door. Boot up, nigga. Go put. Come on, let's get, hit the room, nigga. Hit the bathroom, nigga. Mm hmm. Next thing you know, they scrapping like yeah. Why? Behind the disrespect of it all, you know the disrespectation. You know what I'm talking about, but. At the end of the day, it was a minor disagreement. It was a disagreement because it ain't no refs. It was a disagreement because there isn't no refs out there. It was a disagreement because one person was saying it was a foul and the other person was saying it wasn't. A disagreement turned into disrespect. And I'm saying that to say this. Uh, watch your company. You know what I'm talking about? Watch your company. Them, slow, them small little disagreements turn into a slight disrespect and you just let it. Slide, it's going to turn into big disrespect at the end of the day. You know the same, man. Give a nigga an inch, you're going to take a mile, you know? So know the difference between a disagreement and disrespect. Even with, let's say, uh, you guys love them bad, them bad bitches. Y'all love them bad bitches. Ooh, ooh, bad boy, she bad, she bad. And y'all will let little things that you maybe disagree with that she does. Uh, in a, like, let's say you tell her to be ready at 9 o'clock. You swing by the crib. You a little early. You were at 8.55. 
but she's not ready until 9.15, so you lost. She ain't even, it's 9.15, and she still ain't walk out the house. You call her like, yo, what's up? I'm outside. Woo, woo, woo. We got to get going. We got to make the reservation, et cetera, et cetera. I'll be out there in a minute. I'll be out there in a minute, you know what I'm saying? And that minute turned into 9.30, 9.45, you see what I'm saying? That disagreed with your soul. That disagreed with your spirit. But you ain't say nothing because she was a bad bitch. You see what I'm saying? You wanted to hit. You know what I mean? A lot of a lot of men do that. You wanted to hit. You wanted to hit. You wanted to, uh, you want that, that, that entire situation disagreed with your body. Man, that shit made your stomach turn. You know what I'm talking about? That disagreed with your organs and some more shit. Your soul. You know what I'm saying? But you stood there like a sucker. And you let her tell you when she coming up out of there. You know what I'm talking about? And, it, and then the whole night, she handling you like a pretty much a chump. And ain't give you no ass at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then when you drop her off, you want to call your homeboy and complain. Oh, man, I ain't working with that. Oh, uh, yeah, we see this, she that shit. Yeah, I ain't working with it no more. Next thing you know, next time she call, you back over there again. Looking like an idiot. Because she already sees she can disrespect you. Go what a real one would have done. She wasn't ready at 10 o'clock. You might have would have gave it a 10.05. Might have would have even gave it a 10.10. But I know this. When you called and she got to popping off, you would have drove off. That's what a real one would have done. That's what a real one would have done. A real one would have got there at 8.55. Okay, I'm going to give her a little five-minute grace period. Boom, called after that five minutes. Like, yo, we got to make this reservation. Woo -woo -woo. All right, I'll be out there. I'm coming. I'm on the way. Ooh, he's rushing me. Left. Urgh. Blocked. Expeditiously. So, see, you got to know the difference between a disagreement and disrespect. If it disagrees with your soul, it ain't for you. If, if the slight little disagreements, whether it's with family, whether it's with friends, whether it's with whoever, if it turns into disrespect, you need to analyze your relationship and, and see the value to it. If they're disrespecting you, more than likely, it's no value to that relationship. You know what I'm talking about? Stand on your respect in a big way. In the biggest way, stand, in your, stand on your respect in the biggest way. That goes for men, that goes for women, that goes for children. Stand on your respect in the biggest way, because at the end of the day, really, that's damn near all you got. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, when disagreements turn into disrespect, because disrespect, you know, disagreements happen all the time in conversations, but disrespect, nah, that's not a conversation. That's, that's the end. That's the end. The end. The end in bold letters. The end. You know what I'm talking about? But um, take that jewel which you put it in your crown. You know what I'm talking about? Until the next time, peace, love, and blessings.